Hi and welcome to Rainbow Toy Reviews. I'm Mum and I'm Jack. Today we have a Smiggle haul. Recently we went to our local Smiggle and got a few goodies for, to, for us to try. Let's have a look what we've got inside the bag. We got some Smiggle scented paints, some scented ink ball gel pens, some colour change and erasable markers and a colour magic colouring book. We'll start off with the paints and we'll give them a try and see what scents we have. Let's get them open and have a try. This pack of paints you get quite a few different little pots and these were priced at seven pounds which i don't think was too bad but i did overall find smiggle quite expensive for what you got but there was a lot of fun things to look at and try right let's have a look at these paints so you get three strips and there's the first one and on this one we've got banana peach, strawberry, grape, lemon and apple. This strip we have orange, grape, watermelon, cherry, blueberry and strawberry. On this one we have pine, no, lemon, blueberry, pineapple, watermelon, orange and banana. And you also get a brush so I'll just get some water and we'll try them out right now we're back with some water let's open the first strip and test out these paints first of all I'm going to try the banana let's give it a smell mmm it's a bit difficult to work that out but it smells of banana so let's give it a little paint on the paper and it goes out the way Quite a nice bright yellow, so that's nice. Okay, um, let's just put a little wash so we can change colour. Um, we'll give it a smell in a moment, give it a chance to dry a little bit. The next one is peach. Hello, Nala. Have you come to check out the different smells? Or have you just come to be nosy? I think it's more you've come to be nosy. The next one we've got is peach. Let's give this a little try. It's quite a nice fleshy colour. So you could use this for like skin tones. It's quite a nice one. Give it a smell. Mmm. It smells like sweets, like candy. Give this for a quick wash but we'll be able to properly smell them once they dry so the next one is strawberry oh that's a nice pale pink let's give it a try oh you could even use this one as a skin tone as well it's quite a nice pale pink let's give it a smell oh no I wouldn't quite say any of these smell whilst they're wet paint but perhaps once they dried, we'll have to try. The next one is grape, and this is a nice lilac purple colour. It's lovely. I hope you can see the colours nicely. Again, no particular smell. Next one is a lemon. Um, strangely, this is, this is a blue paint. A sky blue okay so hopefully we'll be able to smell that one afterwards as well and the last one on this strip is apple and it's like a turquoisey color oh gosh that's quite dark it's a nice color as well okay 
them a chance to dry. Let me just put this one out of the way. So the next row of colours. So the next row of colours, we will try this one, which is orange. And it's orange in colour too. Oh, that's a nice bright orange. Clean. And then the next one is grape which is a nice bright purple. Oh, that's nice. Oh, didn't quite clean the brush properly then. You can see a little bit of orange. Give it a nice good clean. That's it. And the next one is watermelon. And this is a dark green. Oh, that's quite a nice green. And the next one is cherry. And this looks like it's going to be black. So you get a nice variety of colours, which is good. Yep, definitely black. Very nice quality paints as well. They're not watery. But you can always water them down if you want them to go a little bit further, I suppose. So the next one is blueberry. And this is like a aqua blue. Oh, it's quite a nice pale blue. The next one is strawberry again, but this time it looks like it's going to be a deeper pink. Yep, more of a hot pink. Oh, I like that colour, that's really nice. Okay, so that's the second lot. Let's move on to the third lot and see what they're like. And on this one we have a lemon and this looks like it's the white one. Unfortunately you're not really going to be able to see this on the paper as it's white. But we'll give it a try anyway. And the next one is blueberry again. And this is a deep blue a deep sea blue. It's quite a nice colour. That's a nice blue. And the next one is apparently pineapple. And this colour is like a, a oh, neon green I would say because it's quite a bright green. That's nice that. And that's supposed to smell of pineapple. Okay, we're going to have to hope that they smell when they dry. And the next one is watermelon again. And this is, oh, a nice deep pink. It's very similar to the pink that on there as well. I would say, if not the same. you're going to have double of one colour that's certainly a good colour to have and the next one is orange and this looks like it's a lighter orange to this one yeah it is so that's good that you get a couple of different shades and lastly we have the banana and this looks like it's more of a sunshine yellow, so a deeper yellow than this one. That's definitely a deeper yellow. It's quite a nice colour. So that's all in all. So you get 
18 different colours really, although this one's a bit debatable because they're very much alike, if not the same. So, do this smell once they're painted onto paper. Let's give it, I'll hold it up and give it a try. To be honest, I can't really smell much more than a sweet, like candy smell. Jax, would you like to have a smell and see yes, if you please. can smell fruits? I can smell candy as well. Yeah, it's like more like sweets have been on the paper than fruit. Oh well, that's not so bad. I, I still love all the colours, so I'm sure we can use them in a project or two. So, on to the next thing. Let's get a fresh sheet of paper. Get that one out of the way. And next we'll try the colour change and erasable markers. Now in here you get 20 coloured markers, two erasable and colour change markers. Oh, they're double ended. So you've got different colours. So you've got pinks, blacks, purples, blue, green, a peachy and a blue, reds, orange, browns, green and yellow and I would think these are the erasable mark, the colour change markers. So let's get them out of the case and we'll give them a try on this paper. And just so that you know, these were £10 for the case. So let's give them a try and see what they like. Let's move those out of the way. So let's try a blue. So you get a thick marker and a thin marker. So let's give it a try. Um, and we will see if we can colour change with the white one. So what colour do you think it's going to change from blue orange. to, have orange. a guess, to orange. Right, let's see, oh, changes to a lighter blue. So you can see it a little bit better. We'll do a nice big squiggle like that. And then We'll do a zigzag through and you can see it's much lighter blue. So let's have a try of the pink. And what colour do you think this is going to change, Jax? What kind of pink is that one? It's like a hot pink. A uh, darker pink. A darker pink. Let's have a look. Changes to a light pink. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I never thought that was going to happen. Okay, so let's have a look at the purple. See what this comes to, changes to. A lighter pink. A uh, purple. A, a lighter purple? Yeah. Yep, yeah, you're correct. A lighter purple. So let's try a black. What do you think the black will change to? Uh, I don't know. Lighter black. Like a grey? Yeah. You don't really get a lighter black, but a grey. Oh, changes to red. That's pretty cool. Um, let's try the red then. Let's see what that changes to. Oh, a lighter like red. A lighter red. That changes to orange. So green, lighter green. Changes to a lighter green. We have orange. Uh, to Lighter orange. I would Dark. say to a yellow. To yep. a yellow. 
to a wow. yellow. Let's have a look at the brown. What do you think, Jax? Uh, a light brown. I'm not sure actually, maybe a yellow. Lighter brown. Yeah, lighter brown. It's okay. And then we've got a couple of mixed ones here. So we'll try each one. This is a pink, a light pink. So what colour do you think? Darker pink. It goes to white. Wow. Disappears. And blue, dark disappears. blue. Do you think disappears? Yeah. Disappears. And the green? Disappears. So you think these are the erasing ones? Yeah. Oh no, to a lighter green. Wow. And the yellow one. Um, goes to green. To a red. Dis disappears. Right, so do you think we could do it where we write in the white one? Yeah. As a secret message, yeah. and then we colour it over with some colours and see what the message says. Okay. Okay, I won't be a moment and I'll write a secret message. Okay, I've written a secret message, so let's use a variety of colours and see if we can find this message. So, let's have a try. Oh, I would have thought it would have come up. I did write it round here, so maybe it's not those colours that work. Um, let's blue? Try the, was it the blue and the pink that disappeared? The blue. Yeah. Oh, oh no, it's coming up. I can see it slowly. I've just well. chose the wrong colour to use. How about the black? Let's see if we can get it to go do it. Seeing that bit, can you? Give it a moment and see if it'll come up. Can you see that one? Or I not? Need to finish colouring in the little bits quickly and then we will see if we can see the little message. See if we can see it. No, it doesn't make it out too well. It should say Rainbow Toy Reviews. But unfortunately, I think we chose the wrong colour. But no, these are very cool and quite fun to play with. Right, the, la the other thing we have are the ink bowl gel pens so let's have a look at these and these are apparently scented so let's get them out of the case and have a look and these were on sale actually so I got seven for three pounds so let's have a look at these so first of all we have pink it's a really nice pink Again, smells like sweet rather than anything fruity or flavoured. And the orange, that's a really nice orange. I can definitely see me using these pens for my diary and things like that. Yellow. And green. Blue, that was a really nice blue. And purple and lastly black 
Yep, some I like those colours, quite decent colours. But I could definitely use in my diary. The only one that you can't really see is the yellow one, but it's quite faint. So that'd be quite nice for little secret messages that you don't want people to read so much. Right, so that leaves us with Colour Magic colouring book. So you get 40 colouring pages plus five double-ended coloured pencils. Let's open it up and have a look. This is it open and this set costs £8.50. You get quite a few, oops, quite a few colouring pages with lots of cool pictures to colour. I can see quite a few I'll enjoy colouring. As many of you won't know just yet, as we're only new, I actually love colouring as a hobby. It, I find it really relaxing and calming. And I have many of the different adult colouring books, children, even children's colouring books, because some of them do have some cool pictures in. Um, I've seen many of these different ones that I would like. I'll quickly choose one. How about the butterfly? What a great one to choose. Okay, we'll just get the pencils out and we'll give it a go. So the colouring pencils that you get are red and pink, orange and yellow, white and black, green and blue, and purple and dark blue so I'll have I'll quickly show you what the colours look like on paper so you can get an idea um, let's have a start here I'll use the red just a quick idea of what they look like I would definitely recommend going to have a look at a smiggle if there is one near you there is absolutely loads of different stationery items, backpacks, lunch boxes, you name it, they've got it basically. Lots of different designs for girls and boys. The only thing I will say is just be mindful that it does seem a little bit expensive. But if you save up your pocket money or you're just fancying a special treat, definitely go and have a look. I'm sure you'd find something that you like. Now that's the red. Let's have a look at the pink. Let's do these little dots pink. Oh, it's a lovely little baby pink. That's lovely colour. Well, I can definitely see me using these to colour. And let's try the orange next. Nice quality pencil. Doesn't look like they're going to snap easily which is good definitely something you need if you colour a lot good pens and pencils that you can rely on so that's the orange and the next one is yellow this is quite a pale yellow it's, it's nice a nice yellow Obviously you don't have to just use pencils on this colouring page, you could use the paints or the markers or any other pens, pencils that you have at home, anything. So now the black, now as it's black I don't really want a lot on this butterfly so we'll just do a small dot up here just so that you can see how it looks. So this side so that's symmetrical so that's the black the white I'll use it for the whites of her eyes so that you can get an idea you may not be able to see it on camera but I'll give it a go excuse the noise in the background the cat cats are having a mad hour I'm sure many of you that have cats yourselves know that most cats like to have a mad hour when everyone's getting ready for bed. Usually when everyone's settling, they decide that's the time they want a mad hour. So now the dark blue. 
obviously if you press on a bit harder you'll get a darker colour but I just want a nice shade and the next one is purple so let's have a look at the purple we'll just do this middle bit to the purple it's quite a nice colour of purple quite a light one and again if you wanted it a bit darker you just press up press on a bit harder and the last pencil is green so we will do the top of her head a nice green color you can see what it's like and finally the light blue so we'll do that one here there we go so just a quick idea of how the colours look and what I will do is I will finish this picture off camera um, perhaps next time on another video it'll be in the background for you to have a look so please pop back and have a look see if you can spot it and let us know in the comments okay that's all for today thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed and I hope that you've enjoyed all the Smiggle products. These are the markers that we use, the pens, and then the paints that we used as well on the other paper. Again, thank you for watching. Please feel free to subscribe. And if you've got any comments, leave them in the comments section below. Ta-ta for now. Bye.